Hello oh guys, we got a service caller here. I gotta hopefully I can get to it. It really warmed up all of a sudden and it's thawing out, which I like a little bit warmer weather, but too warm, then you just can't get around anywhere. You just gets real greasy on top and then the bottom underneath about six or eight inches under still froze and, and I mean it can be just miserable trying to get around sometimes you're half the time these guys that are feeding cows and stuff out here they gotta chain all their feed trucks up and their tractors up to get around and anyway got an excavator they're using for something but cat excavator he said it blew a hose up on the boom so we're going to drive in there and see if hopefully we can get to it. Uh, didn't really even do good, do any good to try to get there early in the morning. Sometimes you can, if you know it's going to warm up during the day, you can get there earlier. And uh, try to get there while the ground's froze, but it didn't do much good. It was, I got up at, I don't know, I walked outside to my other shop in my house at 4.30 this morning. It was 36 degrees. So, so anyways, I guess we'll see what happens when we get there. Yeah, we made it up to it. It falls out anymore. Once we get the hoses and come back, we may not be able to get up here. Um, I don't know why. They just don't road to some of the bitch down the hill. But <clears throat> you know, we're on the side of the mountain here, and it's just... I had to put my interlock in there and it was just touch and go getting up here. He stopped there at the gate to open the gate for me and I had to back back down the hill and get a run at it to get up there. The gate was all packed snow still and it was just, of course, it's starting to thaw out a little bit and just slicker and greased owl shit on top of that, on top of that snow. Okay, so these are the hoses. I already got the clamps off. I'm trying to figure out how the hell, how the hell do I get back in there to get those off? I am not 100% certain on that. So I wonder if I can curl this. Or do I have to take the whole... Let's see here. Does he have any of this stuff on and ready to go to where we can curl the bucket or anything here? He's probably got the battery disconnect off, I'm sure. Back here. Should be. It's got a line through it that should be on, right? Yeah. Okay, how cold blooded are you? Level low, engine oil level, coolant level low. It's not too cold, so. too much and Let's see where we're at here see uh, if it curls up too much and hit some hoses two hoses that I'm looking for right there. Hmm. 
Still ain't gonna be easy, huh? Let me get my truck fired up and blow that shit out of there. Man, I just don't see a way. I got short wrenches and offset wrenches and you just can't get a swing on it. The only way I can see to do this is get it out of there. That is the only way. I don't know. I'm gonna try taking this pin out here. I've never had to do one of these, to be honest with you, on an excavator, so I don't really have to show my ignorance here. I guess I'll find out like everything else in my life the hard way. Is there a keeper or anything on that pin to hold it in there? What is holding that pin? Well, it looks like there might have been something. Is there a roll pin in there or something? What the hell, huh? What the hell is that all about? Is that a roll pin? Oh yeah, it's gotta be a roll pin or something in there, huh? I can see a pin going through there, but I'm trying to tell what it is. Huh. Let me dig around in that little, kinda looks like a roll pin. Don't know what the right answer is here on this. I didn't really want to tear the thumb and all that shit off of there, but it's not an Allen hit or some shit that's threaded, huh? Doesn't appear to be. It's the piece of shit they got welded on there, but I passed it far enough to work it. Go on out with it. Okay. Man, that ain't gonna come out of there for shit, you know that. So anyways guys, I, I eventually got the pin out to where we could get that little cylinder flopped down and get the hoses off. There's no swivel on the end, they're, they're just o-ring boss and you know there, there's no swivel on those hoses so anyway, uh, uh, the whole crew decided to show up here from this ranch up here thought, thinking I needed help and kind of interrupted the video process. I kind of like to video these things by myself i don't a lot of these guys if they show up i don't know if they want to be videoed or anything so usually i'll shut it off if they show up but anyways i eventually got it out and went down the hill there uh and they had a feeder broke down and i ended up tearing it apart well it had a oh a double strand change as you'll see later on that it had come off one shaft that ran a, uh, the gearbox ran another shaft but i Took it off as an example so I knew what to get when I went to town. Well, guys, so <laughs> I got the hoses off that excavator and they said, hey, our feeders broke down too. So I, nobody had, I took, I'll show you when I get over there, but there's double chain. That's double 60 chain. Basically one shaft running another one and it's, it's uh, double sprocketed. So I'm making a chain. Uh. Okay, so I gotta save those two little links there. This is my master link. That's gonna be 
That's going to be this end here. And once I go back together, but I need to take this, I got to knock this pin out of this. Because I need the actual, or do I? No, I don't need that. No, I don't need that at all. Never mind. What am I thinking? All I need, I need these two here. Because these are going to go in here. Yep. Is that right? Yeah. One of those must have fell out over there. That's okay. I got another one right here. Come on, baby. What is your uh, problem? You don't really even have... I've taken these chains before and... Not even really use a master on them. And just took a... And just put the chain through and just put a... And get a little bit of stud sticking out and just peen them over and... Away you go. So I always save shit like this. I don't ever turn loose of that kind of stuff. So I need this link to go on here. That's obviously not the master, that is. I'll have to clean that one up before I can go back, unless I find that other one when I go back over there. Let's put the clip on this, and we'll head over there and put this shit back together. Okay, we're ready to go. Uh, Yeah, I don't see why not. Gotta take that and that and that. Roll up the safety chain here. It fell off the bumper right under the ground. Some stupid son of a bitch will get on here. I got chain in the dirt. It runs in the dirt all day long, dipshit. It is in its normal environment, moron. It's like that dumb son of a bitch I was putting that baler together last summer and I videoed that and that that pickup that pickup on that baler is in hay chaff and dirt all day long. That is its normal operating condition. And I think I, I think one end of the chain fell off and it fell down in the dirt and all oh, by God it was the end of the world. That chain in the dirt. Okay, I'm up underneath this thing. Let's see, I'll just put you right here, I guess. Not the only place I can really see to... Wait a second. I'm never gonna get out of this place. Put that excavator back together, and then I guess the loader or something's going on with that. What the hell happened to the master? I thought I already had the master off of it. Huh. Oh, there it is. Oh, what the fuck? Surprise it with our political correct whoop bullshit. I'm surprised it. I was in the Napa the other day getting a. I needed a oh a master cylinder and a slave cylinder for a for a. Uh, Old Ford pickup that I was working on. <laughs> I told the parts guy there. I says I'm surprised that all these freaking idiots haven't decided that that was. I should have pulled this son of a bitch off on the fucking vice, but I got her. I'm surprised that all these woke idiots haven't decided to bitch about that.
these two links. You're gonna have to keep track of those. is a little bit higher on this mm, hang on hammer time lose all this stuff Or something. Ah, uh, something ain't. Hang on a second. This shaft's a little bit higher for some reason than this other one is. Something ain't quite right here. I'm gonna loosen this up. Fifteen sixteens. Right. Loosen this pillow block bearing up. I almost need a spacer. A spacer or something. Cause it it's sitting a little bit higher. It almost needs to be spaced out and make it sit square. Move it out of that shaft's bent. It can't go down any further because there's a hole in the frame and it goes through. Okay. I didn't really want to do that and go that far off with it. But it is what it is. She's going together. Yeah. I think I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna find some washers and stick in between that pillow block bearing and that bracket and get that setting straight in there. Okay, and then I gotta get them washers. Or the Gotta get there's two. Get going there. Okay, hold that one down. Get rid of 
Probably that tight. Good grief, man. Tight fit, huh? I probably should have went in the other way. It's probably what I should have done. Probably was a screw up. Uh, I was just trying to make it easier to get to the master link as I was trying to do, but. Get the shit out of this thing. Master clip on there. on all right yeah what I can do is find me some washers she's sitting pretty square just like that let's take a washer and stick right up in between there thing is back together shit I didn't even have the camera on that thing that chain coupler and that chain coupler let's see if the tractor will start and turn it on turn a PTO on and see what happens huh my dogs I think ran up the hill I'll have to go get them they're up there I'm going up there anyway gotta hurry it's 2 o'clock I only got a couple more hours of daylight I still gotta go put the hoses back on the boom of that excavator. I don't know if this tractor, well, they got her butted right up against that, don't they? Oh. Oh, this one's got a door on both sides. Is it open? I've been waiting for a battery for this tractor for two weeks now. Let's see if it'll start. have to be sitting in the seat get the PTO to turn on oops to be working. Can't go too much because uh, it's all coming out right there out of the chute, so. That's a caution light flashing for. I quit. Can't go very much. I don't want to dump all their feed right here in the barn. <clears throat> yeah, see, it turns that big auger. Well, I guess there ain't much left to. make a mess it'll shove it all out right here well, I guess it's as far as I'm gonna go I guess I don't see why it would wouldn't work should be fine I think it's gonna be better because I've got this square now and it's not sagging that's probably why that chain come off all right let's go up and put the excavator back together And Josie's raising hell with Duke. Look at that little shitbag. You little shitbag, you. 
Well, folks, <laughs> this, these Volvo trucks, man, I'm telling you what, they don't make the they don't make the mounts for these anymore and i had to cut these out when i pulled this radiator out i mean they were rusted solid i mean look at the rust in here this is an old state of utah plow truck is what it is and of course they use salt on the highway so of course nothing will come loose on it anywhere um i got the fan clutch rebuilt and i got the new radiator core in here but I was cutting these got big carriage bolts. I got to get some carriage bolts. But see, I don't those are those should not be that difficult to acquire. Um, the only thing I can really do is cut these out. Man, my striker's worn out. You know, I kind of had my head up my ass. I didn't pay attention to which way the offset was. Uh, those holes, these are offset. So if the lower neck was right there, that offset, I gotta make sure that I get that right. Is there any way a guy can tell by looking at kind of where it's set? Not really. Shit. What a pile, huh? What a pile. So, that was the ground that was on the bottom of that thing I had to take off. I had to lift it up to get the ground off. I couldn't get to it. Um, I gotta get this out of here. This is the way everything's come apart on this thing, man. It's been it's been quite a battle. <laughs> L10, not not the best ones in the world. The old L10 was. Yeah, L10 300. Well, I had to figure out how these plates go on and how they're offset. I'm not going to be able to do anything until I get the rubber mounts, but I could at least get everything, charger, cooler, and all that stuff mounted back to the back to the thing, I guess. Well, I'm not going to get the radiator mounted because I don't have the rubber bushings to mount on the and the carriage bolts either. The ones they got me are too small. I mean, those are little bitty bastards. I mean, those aren't going to... Those aren't ever gonna work for that. Um, yeah, well, I guess just to get as much done as I possibly can while I'm here, I can mount that fan clutch back on there and throw the shroud kind of over that. Let's, uh... Same time. 
See, I got this backed off, so yeah. Which way was tight and which way was loose? That had to be tight or loose there. myself into this time. Freaking Volvo. Hell even a hard hand goes, ah frickin' Volvo. It's got a front mounted pump, so that air fitting is over here, so that's going to be over here. I got to get this over that. Times, huh? Good times. Oh. They can take these Volvos and shove them where the sun don't shine. Shove them in your ass, laddie. Okay. Let's get some. And that'll go out there. Start tightening them up with those. We're seventeens, I believe. I lift the hood up and I plug these the other day because I knew it was gonna rain when I had it apart. Kind of hoping I could have got this thing done today, but it ain't gonna happen. Dome might might be on in there, huh, Joe? She's been running around playing in the mud. Get as far as I can here, I guess, and it is what it is. I rebuilt this fan clutch. You know, I ain't gonna lie to you. I knocked a hole. This is the one I knocked a hole in the radiator on trying to get the damn fan. The fan would not come off the end of the hub. It was rusted to it. I had to heat the piss out of it with a torch to get it off. But you know, here's that radiator that come out of it. I knocked a hole in it, wrestling the fan, trying to get it past it. Man, to be completely honest with you, look at that thing. It needed a radiator anyway, but I'll probably eat the $600 on that. Some of this old shit, you seems like you can't ever win on it. too far with the bulls because <sighs> I 
I get one too far, then I'm gonna get up against that. So. Oh, the old 8345R. I'd rather be working on that. This part of the truck is okay. The L10 in it and everything else on it's Volvo. I don't care for it. They can have it. I did find a kit though. Well, I didn't find it. Uh, Tom there at Kenworth found it for me. But Volvo wanted two grand for a fan clutch. And I told I told the owner, said no, like, them guys are out of their fucking minds. Two grand for a fan clutch. And you know, of course, if the fan clutch is the manufacturer, Volvo, that's not a Cummins thing. <clears throat> so of course Volvo had to put their own fan clutch on there instead of putting a Horton or a Bendix fan clutch on there, something that was something that was a little bit more uh, standardized. It was actually a really easy, I do, I have to admit, the fan clutch itself was really easy to rebuild. I really like the way that that was, to be honest with you. on these long process but anyways uh, I, I can put the fan on in the shroud and get as far as I can with it and tighten this belt up because I can once I get the shroud in I can slide it over the fan and everything on the radiator and then when I, once I get the rest of the parts of the radiator I can throw that on and then bolt the shroud to it I believe I don't know, I might have to... And it wouldn't be that big of a deal if I had to pull the fan back off because at least the son of a bitch will come off now. Oh man, it was rusted bad to it. I mean, I just... And, and really what happened is I pitched the, the fan hub at an angle and it was one of those days it was like negative two degrees when I was trying to do this. And, uh... Anyhow, I had pitched the fan kind of at an angle and had it sitting in the shroud at an angle and I took my air hammer and I was vibrating on that fan clutch trying to just break it loose. Well, it was so freaking cold and I just wasn't paying attention, you know, complete attention like I should have and the damn fan blade, one of the blades had got up against the core on the radiator and just cracked it, you know, put a hole in it. And then I started noticing the water dripping on it and I was like, son of a bitch, man. I just told the owner, I said, you know, if this thing wasn't such a rust bucket and the fan would have just came off like every other truck I work on, we wouldn't be doing this. Radiator, but no, this one couldn't come off. So anyway, is what it is. Suck it up and go on. It's like this right here. This is this part of the fan. Ouch. This part of the fan clutch is kind of stupid. <laughs> the way they bolted this on there. The fan clutch kit that I got from Tom there at Kenworth was a TRP, you know, like a Kenworth, I don't know, their, their brand, you know, but I think it's a Volvo, I think, I mean, because it's not a Horton or a Bendix, maybe somebody knows, I don't know what, I'm, I'm pretty certain 
because like usually when you when you buy a truck i mean the manufacturer like kenworth or peterbilt they're going to put the fan clutch on there cummins provides the engine or detroit or whoever but the the fan clutch is an oem accessory just like a just like i'm not sure about it now but it used used to be in the old days even jake brakes were when you bought a truck that the oem put the brake jakes on it you know so and there's a big bolt right here i will have to tighten nut right there i'll have to tighten up let me tighten the mother up first ah the snow is coming too again and i fuck i wanted to get this thing done so they weren't sucking hind tit there and it starts snowing you know you get a really like torquing bolts down when it's open-ended wrench and I got the go-ahead the, the owner of that 4020 John Deere I, I knew he would too because he's just he, that's just the way Jim is Jim likes his shit working right and I have to agree with him he has employees working he said no we're going to be running a wood chipper off that PTO and we're going to be raking with that tractor too he says I don't need the safety problems you know I don't need somebody getting run over I need the PTO to shut off when you, when you shut it off so that's pretty tight right there okay that should free wheel until it's locked up and that's a 916 so I gotta get one of those and then we gotta tighten this jam nut up here I'm trying to remember what size that damn thing was I think it was an inch and a quarter and then once I get the bushings for that radiator I can throw it back in there god how the hell did I get to that I don't remember how the hell I got in there and got on it. Must have been something like that. You know what? It's inch and an eighth, isn't it? Yeah. I'm going to round the son of a bitch off. I take care of all these old potato trucks. See that green cab over out there? That's coming to the shop. It's got a B model cat in it and it hydraulic on him. He wants to see how bad it is and make a decision on whether he wants to fix it or not. Shit. 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 Inch and three sixteenths. We'll shut the hood again and wait for okay okay uh, should I even mess with putting the fan on there
air conditioning and shit. I can still get that radiator. Yeah, I don't think that's going to be a problem. Bolt that fan on there. Get as much done as I can get done. And there's quite a bit of, I mean, there's quite a bit of room on there, but still, it's still tight. But I should be able to slide the shroud back over the fan, then put the radiator in, then bolt the shroud to the radiator. Is my thinking on that. Well, anyway, well, guys, that's what I got going on here. Uh, hope everybody has a really good Christmas. And like I said, I really thank you and appreciate my viewers for watching me work on all this old junk. And anyways, I guess until next time, huh?